friend of man, Kenny J, come to talk to y'all about some things. I want to inform y'all on some things. The first thing I want to inform y'all on, it's a new disease epidemic going around, and it's called the crack flu. Be careful because it's spreading rapidly against the young African-American community, specifically the young men. Now, let me explain to you what the crack flu is. It's for those young guys who wants to sag in nine degree weather. Now they butt sick and it's coughing. <laughs> man, I'm cold, man. Pull the pants up over me, man. Now everybody got to worry about the crack flu because you won't pull your pants up. I already don't like people that sag their pants anyway because the first thing that confuses me is I don't understand how you're a grown man and you comfortable with your butt showing i don't get that and if you're gonna sag your pants do me a favor and throw your drawers in the washing machine that's all i'm saying i do not like that that is just nonsense to me now another thing i need to tell y'all is that y'all know that it's a lot of shooting of negroes lately it's been so much shooting of the negroes till it has became a norm now it's on the list on the same list as getting gas buying your kids some shoes and going to the grocery store. You cannot leave your house. The white people would not leave their house before they make sure they got that on their list. The wife be like, honey, you got the groceries? Yeah, I'll make sure I'm going to get the groceries before I come back, honey. You going to put gas in the car? Yeah, I'm going to put gas in the car before I come back, honey. And oh, don't forget little Bobby shoes. Okay, I want, oh, and one more thing, shoot a Negro today, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to shoot me a Negro today. It, it done became so much of a norm now. I think they're about to make it a national holiday. It's going to be called National Shoot a Negro Day. That day you won't see not one Negro on the street. It's going to be negro -less. The street will be negro -less. You hear me? Everybody be wondering where the Negroes at. Where is the Negroes today? You ain't heard? It is National Shoot a Negro Day. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I am telling you, man, this is what is this world coming to? I don't know, man. When you shoot a Negro and it become the norm, huh, world, I don't know. But anyway, another thing I want y'all to know is, first of all, I, I need to let y'all know about the messages in the song today is not discreet like they used to be. Remember when messages and songs were discreet, which means that they could talk about stuff in songs and you didn't even know exactly what they were talking about? Remember, I give you a case of point. Remember 112, the group 112. Remember the song they had, Peaches and Cream? I promise you, y'all, I went five years before I knew that song was talking about anything sexual. It just made me hungry. I was all in Kroger's talking about, hey, y'all know where the Peaches and Cream at? Now I understand why people was looking at me weird. <laughs> but the women was all excited. One girl walked up to me talking about, I got some Peaches and Cream for you. I looked at her and said, where are they on? She said, they ain't on no aisle, silly. I said, well, where they at? She said, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, everybody was singing the song. Everybody loved that song. But I'm going to tell you, man, everybody wasn't really capable of singing that song because it didn't look right coming out of everybody's mouth. Like I seen a pretty girl singing the song. She was real fine, had good skin, complexion, pretty hair, just a nice looking face. She was singing the song and it looked good. She was singing it. She was like, peaches and cream, peaches and cream, peaches and cream. And I was like, OK, girl, peaches and cream. But then a booger wolf sung the song and it didn't sound the same. Now, I don't want to call her a booger wolf and I don't want to sit up here and say the girl was ugly. You know, so I'm going to say she was a child of God, <laughs> you know, because I don't want to say she was ugly because, you know, when people are ugly, you don't really want to say they're ugly. You just call them a child of God. So she was a child of God, you know, and she was singing the song and it didn't sound right flowing out. You understand what I'm saying? Because she was singing. It was like, pieces and cream, pieces and cream. I like pieces and cream. I lost my appetite, y'all. I was like, I don't even know. I don't want no more peaches and cream. She walked up to me talking about, you want some peaches and cream? I was like, no, no, I ain't hungry. I ain't hungry. I lost my appetite. She was like, you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm good. This is me, your boy, the funny man, Kenny J. And it's just something I wanted to tell y'all about. Inform y'all. Be aware of the crack flu, y'all. Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up. And uh, white people, do not forget to shoot a Negro. And uh, on this day, I want to let my Negroes know to stay in the house and the last thing, but not least, if you're a booger wolf, do not sing peaches and cream, please. It don't look right. This should be the boy, the funny man, Kenny J.